guys, welcome back to a new vlog. So today we have some errands to run. I have some things I need to get done this week because I am leaving for the weekend. We are going to Florida and we're going to Disney World. So I'm really excited, but before we go, I have to, like I said, get a lot of things done. I have some errands to run, I have to pack. I have to get all my beauty errands done. I gotta get my nails done. So we got a lot of things to do and I have to finish all my work before I go for the weekend. I wanna get ahead of my work so that I don't have to work this weekend. Although I will be vlogging this weekend because I feel like a Disney vlog would be really fun to watch. So yeah, that's what we're doing in this vlog. So I think I'm gonna be doing a week in my life vlog because I really am so busy so I don't have time to like dedicate a day to the vlog so I think whenever I have free time or just whenever I'm out doing my stuff I'll pick up the camera and vlog here and there so yeah I hope you guys are all having a great week or day or night so far I'm gonna get going now oh and I also want to go to Target because I have some things I need to pick up and then I want to stop by TJ Maxx because I want to get some more athletic athleisure wear like clothes for working out sports bras and stuff so I wanna see what they have. I haven't been there in a really long time and I love TJ Maxx. So yeah, we're gonna do that again today. I just have so much to do. I don't really know where I'm gonna start, but like I said, I'll bring you guys along and yeah, it'll be a really productive week in my life. So stay tuned. All right, I'm back and I have not eaten today. It's three o'clock in the afternoon. I forgot to eat breakfast before I left, so I was out all day. And now I'm gonna make some lunch. I wanna eat the curry chop salad that I got from Trader Joe's. And I showed this in a previous vlog and I wanna add some falafel to it. It's already cooked and you just heat it and it's also from Trader Joe's. I'm gonna put it on top of the salad. Mm, the falafel smells amazing. Just a nice, simple salad. All right, so I'm going to do my Trader Joe's. No, not Trader Joe's. I'm so used to saying Trader Joe's haul. I'm gonna do my TJ Maxx haul and my Target haul. And I, oh, the Olympics are on. Who's watching the Olympics? I have the Olympics on 24 seven in the apartment. That's all I watch these days now, so. That's just gonna be on in the back. Okay, so I don't know what it is with my TJ Maxx that's here, but it was so dry and dead and there was like nothing good in there. They looked like they were closing down. I don't know, I don't think they're shutting it down, but like it was so empty. So I just picked up a few things. I didn't get as many things or find as many things as I hoped I would. So I did pick up some athleisure wear. I got two pairs of bike shorts. I got a pair of white ones, which I've actually been looking for, a pair of white biker shorts. All of the ones I have are black, but I really wanted a pair of white ones. So we got these. These are so soft and comfortable. And the brand is, I've never heard of them. It's called RBX Active. And I don't know, it's just so, so soft. It has like pockets on the side, so it'll be great for working out. But I also just love, love, love lounging in biker shorts and these are only ten dollars tj maxx is my favorite place to get like sports bras and leggings and workout clothes because they're so affordable and i also got this black pair these are from jockey which i am familiar with that brand is that do they make underwear is that they like make undergarments i'm not sure but i got this for ten dollars also and these don't really have pockets but again the material is so so soft so yeah just wanted to get some new pairs and then I also got, this isn't gonna be a really exciting haul, this is just a bunch of random 
stuff that doesn't seem exciting to me but anyway yeah I got a lightning cable charger for the living room because every time we're just chilling on the couch watching TV our phones always die towards the night and the charger plug that we have right now I think it's only the six foot one or the three foot one it's so short so you know I want to be able to charge my phone and still be able to use it so the 10 foot one is for the living room so we can lounge on the couch and just yeah be able to charge and still lay down on the couch and then I got a brush I just needed a new brush because I don't know what happened I lost my other brush I have no idea where it went I think I lost it while traveling somewhere I think I left it at the hotel that I was at uh, when I went to the beach last month but I like the like bristle ones like this because it makes my slicked back ponies look really nice and then I got some makeup facial wipes this is from Shea Moisture I really like this brand and it's just your everyday like facial wipes it also helps to remove makeup and I typically don't use makeup wipes anymore because I, I don't know I've been hearing that they're like not the best for you but on those nights when I'm just so 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 tired or if it's super late and I'm just not in the mood to take my makeup off but of course I always do um, I like makeup wipes because they're just an easy quick way to remove it and then I also was so excited to find this this is the conditioner that I have been using I showed this once before and I got it from Ulta and it was such a small bottle it was way smaller than this and that was like $20 I found this huge jumbo one at TJ Maxx for $16.99 I really wish they had the shampoo they only had the conditioner but I just grabbed it anyways because I use way more conditioner than I do shampoo but this is the Joyco color balance blue it's the blue conditioner and it's made to help eliminate brassy and orange tones on light and brown hair so before I used to use purple shampoo because my hair was super super ashy um, blonde but now it's more beige so it tends to be more orange rather than yellow so I tried blue shampoo and conditioner for the first time um, the last time I got my hair colored and I liked it way better than the purple shampoo and conditioner and this is the exact brand I used to I might go back to TJ Maxx maybe in a couple days if I have time to see if they have a shampoo in stock I don't know if it depends on the location but I know TJ Maxx has the restock days Maybe I need to go on TikTok and, and find out because retail employees always give the secrets or like the tips and hacks. So I think I went on the day where like it was right before they restock. I don't know. Last thing I got is a skinny syrup for my coffee and it is the vanilla flavor. And every time I get food from TJ Maxx or stores like that, like Home Goods or you know how they sell the snacks and stuff, always check the expiration date. This doesn't expire until 2023. So that's why I got this and it has zero calories, zero sugar. So sometimes when I'm making my Nespresso coffees and it's like way too bold and I want a little bit of extra sweetness, I'll put this in there. And they had so many flavors. I might go back again and get the caramel flavor too. That's all I got from TJ Maxx. Like I said, didn't have a lot of things, but again, let me know in the comments if you know when they have restock days because i'm pretty sure it's the same for all locations right so let me know in the comments if you know so target i had a little bit more fun and i got a lot of home decor stuff i got some beauty things i got one food thing i should just show this first because i actually need to go put this in the fridge this is the chobani coffee cold brew with vanilla creamer i have never tried this before is this new or is this something that's been out for a while and i just have been so oblivious to it but i love the brand chobani that's like the greek yogurt brand and i like their soy milk so I saw this randomly. I wasn't planning on buying any groceries. This is the only grocery item I got, but I was intrigued. I got a lot of home decor things, and I'm so excited about these things that I found. So the first thing I got is a reed diffuser. The one in my guest bathroom is all out, so I wanted to get a new one. I love the design of this one. Shea McKee. I really like her line. The bottle's just so classy. It's like a glass ribbed. I forgot what you call that design, but so, so pretty. This is in Mazala Rose. Okay, and then the next couple things I am so excited about. So I got a candle also from that same line as the Reed Diffuser. And again, it has the same design. I love this really pretty like glass design. I might put this on the coffee table. And this is in the same exact scent as the Reed Diffuser. And it has five wicks. I love huge candles like this and this was $20 and the burn time on it what does it say 20 hours which is actually not a lot but it's it's pretty and I'm pretty sure I can use this yeah I can definitely use this container after the candle is all done and melted I can use it for like jewelry or for my perfumes 
Ooh, that'd be so cute. A little vanity tray, right? Oh, okay. I didn't even think about that in the store until now. So this is worth the $20 because that's so pretty. Okay. So yes, this is the thing I'm most excited about because the first time I ever saw this was months and months ago, maybe almost a year ago. And this is a decorative bowl. It's ceramic. On camera, it's showing up as like an off-white color, but in person, it's more of like a pale yellow. I really kind of want to spray paint this white, but I don't want to ruin how it looks, so I might just keep it as it is. But yeah, it does have a hint of yellow to it that the camera doesn't really pick up. But anyway, this was only $35, and it's also from the Threshold Studio McGee line. There was a phase I went through where I did everything I could to find this bowl. It was always sold out online at Target, like literally for weeks it was sold out and I signed up for alerts where you can get emails once an item is back in stock. So I signed up for alerts. I got an alert saying it was back in stock. I went to the website. It said there was one left in stock and I literally was in checkout trying to place the order and they said, sorry, cannot complete your order because this item is out of stock. So this is a popular item. I've seen a lot of people share this on their social media, but I finally got my hands on it. It was only $35 and it's just so pretty. It's like my perfect, perfect aesthetic. I love everything that is ceramic and I want to put this on my dining table and even though it's decorative, I really want to put my fruits in it and have it as a fruit bowl because I have been looking for a new fruit bowl for a long time. I just have this like wooden salad bowl. I am so tired of it and I really have been looking for the perfect ceramic fruit bowl. I'm so excited. I finally, finally found it. So we're going to go place it on my dining table right after this. So we got a few more things from Target. Nothing too exciting, but I did get a couple of Sunbum products, my favorite sunblock brand. I just picked up some more sunscreen. I think me and Anto go through at least one thing of sunscreen each week because we go to the pool so much and every time we go we apply excessive amounts of sunscreen which is great because we always want to protect ourselves from the sun. And then I also am trying out a new product. This is also from Sunbum and it is the Tone Enhancer for Blonde Hair and it is a premium color enhancing blonde leave-in treatment. And I don't know, I get nervous trying new hair products from brands that I've never tried before because I don't know if this is gonna be bad for my hair. But it says it's free of all the chemicals and it's cruelty free, vegan, color safe. I'm always trying to maintain my hair color and do everything I can to make sure it does not get brassy. So we're gonna try this, I hope it works. I also got the healing ointment from CeraVe. This has been the one of the only things that's helped my really dry eczema prone skin. So like I said, we are traveling. So I picked up some travel size items. I got three hand sanitizers, the Suave hand sanitizer. I love this one because it actually smells like shampoo and soap. It smells so good and it's really soft on the hands. And then I got a travel size Lysol. When I go on the plane, I like to spray my seat area, even though I know they clean it already. I'm just a germaphobe and you know, in these times I wanna be as clean as possible. So, okay, that's, yeah, that's all I got. Um, a funny story, when I was in Target, that was my last stop because in the middle of my shopping experience in Target, Aunt Flo came to town, she came. So I no I felt it and I noticed it and I was like, oh God. And then I remembered the date, today's the 26th and I was like, oh, this makes sense. No wonder I feel so sluggish today. Cause today I really have felt so like, ooh, like not just because it's Monday. I normally am so motivated on Mondays to get so much work done, but Halfway through the day, I started feeling so unmotivated, tired. I started feeling kind of dizzy and I was like, what is going on? Like, why do I feel like this? And then that happened and that made sense. So I also bought tampons, which I, I won't show, like they're just tampons. So yeah, I had to cut my Target trip short, but I feel like I got a lot of good things. So I'm gonna put everything away and then I'm gonna go set up my fruit bowl on the dining table. I'll show you guys what that looks like. Yeah, that looks so cute. Oh, I'm so glad I finally found this. Very cute. So I'm gonna try to link it in the description, but like I said, it's always sold out online. So yeah, if it's still online, I'll definitely link it. Um, even if it's not, I'll try to find the link and just link it. And if you guys want, you can sign up for notifications for when it gets back in stock because I'm guessing they're restocking it pretty regularly because it's been a year that I've been on a hunt for this and the fact that I found it in store, that means they're still selling them. So hopefully it'll still be available to, for you guys. So I started feeling gradually worse throughout the day. So now I'm just 
gonna fully relax i couldn't even cook i wanted to cook tonight but i physically just like cannot i think a lot of you guys know exactly how that feels when you really just physically mentally emotionally are just like i cannot today it's the first day i cannot so i actually ordered pho which is like the medicine of my soul every time i'm sick or not feeling well i always order pho and it's always the medicine that i need and i haven't ordered pho in so long so i am just so excited to eat this and i'm watching vlogs i'm watching judy's vlog right now it's judy's life so i'm just gonna chill for the rest of the day watch vlogs watch tiktok eat and just chill out morning guys it is the next day and i'm feeling a lot better i actually woke up around three o'clock in the morning and i was in so much pain i had to take tylenol i had to get a heating pad and put it over my stomach it was just so much pain but i got a little bit of sleep and now i feel a lot better for my day so right now i am actually having a breakfast in bed i made avocado toast and i have some lemon water iced lemon water and the avocado toast is just avocado with everything with the bagel and red pepper and then for the bread i use the sandwich thin slices from trader joe's they're like the 100 calorie ones and then on top is the auntie pesto i think is what it's called from trader joe's cheese and olives i think i think those are red peppers i'm not quite sure but i'll show you guys the packaging but if you saw my last vlog where i did the trader joe's haul I showed it there so um and then i also topped it with balsamic vinegar so yeah we're having a nice relaxing morning it's currently 7 46 i actually got up pretty early today i got up around 7 which is actually kind of typical for me but lately i've been waking up around like 9 to 9 30 but today i woke up because i was just in a lot of pain so i figured i'll get my day started now i do have a nail appointment today and then i have errands to run i have some campaign photos to take and it's just gonna be another busy day of errands but i'm excited so i hope you guys are all having a good day so far i'll check in with you guys later let's go in here really quick hey guys i just got done with my nail appointment I couldn't really decide on a design and I think I'm kind of really over summer designs I don't know I just don't like any type of design right now I feel like I've done it all I've done the swirlies I've done the flowers I've done the French tips in like five different colors so I'm kind of over designs now so I just got this plain pink color it kind of reminds me of Barbie I feel like a Barbie with these nails and I really wanted something bright and fun for Florida I was thinking neon but I'm not really a fan of neon unless it's like an accent on my nails I was thinking about getting pink or yellow neon tips but I don't know I was also just really tired and I just could not think I was just like you know what do white on the toes let's just do pink on the fingernails I could not think straight this morning but I love the color and I also changed the shape up I got coffin I've had almond for the past maybe a year almost I've, i haven't had coffin in like a year so yeah i love them and then i got gel pedicure and i got white and then i also stopped by starbucks i picked up my favorite drink at the moment i don't really go to starbucks that often as you guys know i make my coffees at home every day but whenever i'm out like running errands and i desperately need a coffee which is today i'll stop by starbucks i get an iced chai tea latte with sugar-free vanilla and coconut milk and it tastes so so good it's like pretty sweet but not too sweet and iced chai is my absolute favorite in the fall time i get iced chai with pumpkin creamer the pumpkin spice creamer it is so good i can't wait for fall and is anyone else excited for fall because i'm a little bit over summer i do love summer and i love how warm it is and just the vibes and the fashion but i'm kind of just ready for fall and for winter i'm ready for that time of the year september through december where it's just all holidays and warm cozy clothes oh my gosh i can't wait for the cozy sweaters so yeah um i'm going to go back to the apartment now i actually have a busy work day today today's tuesday we're leaving thursday so i have today and tomorrow to work but tomorrow i have to get my lashes done and then i need to pack tomorrow and run more errands so 
yeah today I need to go take campaign photos let me start driving because I'm wasting time um I just got home and we have a package from Verse. They sent a few products, so let's see what we got. So we have a brightening solution, weekend glow, what is this? I think this is a toner, a brightening toner. So my skin is like pretty dull. <laughs> so I try to use products that give my skin glow and moisture. So this is for dullness, aging skin, and problem skin. It's a brightening toner. So we have that, and then we have a moisturizing gel cream. Light jelly-like moisturizer that keeps the bounce in your skin. I like the size of this. I feel like this would be good for travel size. So maybe I'll bring this to Florida. I like that size. And then here we have another moisturizer. Skin Soak Rich Moisturizer Cream made for dryness and aging skin. So there's that. And then we have a clarifying serum called Just Breathe. It has zinc blend, willow bark extract. Use me if your skin is stressing you out and you just want it to chill. Always, I always want my skin to chill. So it's a purifying serum for when things get out of whack. I'm a friend to clogged pores and skin that's acting up. Oh, that's fun. And then lastly, we have the Autosave Advanced Restoring Serum. Helps skin clarity and leaving healthy, even tone. So that's all that I got. Thank you, Versed, for sending this. I can't wait to try everything out. Just got back from taking photos outside, and my lord, it is hot. I was out there for like a minute, a good solid 60 seconds, and already my upper lip started sweating. My face started sweating. I was like, we gotta do this quick. But I ended up getting a lot of good photos, and my outfit is so cute. I love this top I got from Boohoo. I showed this in a haul previously but I love the color of it it's like lime green halter crop not really crop but they called it a crop it's not too cropped and then I'm wearing these high-waisted pants here's a better look so yes obsessed with this shirt it's a halter and in the back it's very very opened so I did some behind the body shots I've never done shots like that before but I love open back tops for the summertime so yeah, check out that vlog if you want to see it. It's the Nasty Gal haul vlog. I only got three things from Nasty Gal, but this is one of them. So I'll link that vlog if you want to go check out the top. And then the pants are old. Not really old, old, but they are from a few months ago. And I got these from Boohoo. And these have like a whale tail up here. You couldn't really see it in the photos, but I just like the color of them. I thought it looked really cute with this top. All right, I need coffee. So we're going to try the... Coffee that I got yesterday, the Chobani Cold Brew. I'm excited to try it. Oh, that is good. Oh, I love that. It doesn't taste like the vanilla creamer too much because it does come with creamer. Yeah, it comes with vanilla creamer, but I can't really taste it. It tastes more coffee-y, if that makes sense, but I like that taste, so. Mmm. And this is the antipesto that I was talking about earlier that I put on my avocado toast. Just wanted to show you guys. But yeah, it has pepper drop, olive, and feta, and then it has like, um, what do you call it? Olive oil, I'm assuming. It says here you can use in place of prosciutto. You can serve alongside a charcuterie board, add on top of pasta pasta salad or you can just literally eat it plain like that but it really tasted very good on that avocado toast so i think i might eat that again for breakfast tomorrow hi guys it's a little bit later in the day and Anto's here hello and he's opening should up i act surprised uh i mean we you were next to me when i purchased <laughs> okay so Anto's birthday was last week and i got him a gift and it's something that we're both kind of excited for Anto can talk about it so, more because he knows more about it it's a video game so, hey i'm getting old y'all i'm 28 you know what i'm saying he's i'm well, 27 he's, but i just turned 28 oh yeah that's what he tells everyone about his age if you don't want to like you know what i'm saying if you don't want to sound old just say the say age the, the the year before, before and then, yeah and it'd be like but now i'm going you'll get it we got the Oculus. I call it the Octopus. I call it Octavius. Octavius. We're gonna call so, um, it's virtual reality. Virtual reality, Oculus Quest 2. This is not sponsored. I do not have a code. <laughs> but if you guys want to sponsor me, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, hello. So, in the, this is like a virtual reality. You put the headset on. We're going to download so many games tonight. We're going to have a game night. There's virtual like reality games, game night. There's workout. Out, yeah. There's yoga. 
Uh, we're gonna travel. We're gonna go to there's Google Earth. Yeah. So basically, you put the headset on and you can like go to anywhere around the world. Virtual reality. It's 2021. Get with the program. I'm sorry. <laughs> What? Wow, it's crazy. Like, when I move, <laughs> everything is moving with me. Hello? Oh my gosh. I wish, what I wish. I get stuck? I wish we could all see what, what you're seeing. Wow, that's <laughs> crazy. Like, okay, Anto setting up. I can see the kitchen and everything. We had to move furniture so we can have enough space to play the game here. Damn. Did you just open the fridge? Yeah, I can see everything. Oh, wow. Yeah, bro, this is crazy. That's cool. Look at this. Look at Steph right now. <laughs> What are you? Are you trying like to kill a ball, bug? Like, like, what is that thing with the balls on the on the? Whoa! Screen? Is it playing with what? It's like volleyball. Okay, we're gonna play ping pong. Why does it look like you're trying to like kill a bug? Right, we're gonna play ping pong. Stephanie just left Earth. She's somewhere else right now. Oh, oh my god. Okay. Oh my god, I saw the couch. Oh, you know when you step out of the batteries, you see the couch? Yeah. Oh yeah. no. Nah. He woke up. Oh my gosh. Grab one of the beer bottles. You. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, you can do nothing. You. you. What are those? Hi, you guys. It's the next day. I just got back from my lash appointment. So now we're looking alive and well again. So, yeah, I got all my beauty errands done my nails, pedicure, eyebrows, and lashes. There's just something about getting it all done that makes me feel so alive and like presentable. So now I have to prepare for my trip. I worked all day this morning. Right now it is three o'clock, I think. It's still almost 3.30, so I need to clean up a little bit. I want to change the bed sheets. I want to wash my small lot load of laundry that I have because I think I want to bring some of those clothes on the trip. And like I always say in my vlogs, I like to clean before I leave for a trip so that when I get back, and I'm getting back on Sunday, so that when I get back Sunday night, I can just relax, take a shower, go to sleep, and get ready for my Monday the next day. So there's my carry-on. I need to go through my carry-on and clean it out. I haven't cleaned this out since my last trip, so I probably have old boarding passes and and just paper and random stuff in there. So we'll go through that, and then I gotta clean the kitchen, I gotta clean the dishes, clean the living room, and then lastly, we're gonna change the bed sheets. I've been meaning to do that, so we'll change the bed, bed sheets and clean up a little bit in here and kinda just go through my clothes. I need to organize my clothes so I can figure out what clothes I have and what clothes I wanna wear. I don't think I'm gonna pack that much. I think I'm gonna pack just like two nighttime outfits because we're only going for three nights. We are not allowed to bring carry-ons. I actually was gonna bring a carry-on um, because like I said, I don't, I don't think I'll bring that much, but yeah, we had to bring a checked-in luggage, so I'll bring my medium-sized one, not that big large one I brought to Cabo, or not Cabo. Where do we go? We went to Palm Beach. I wish we went to Cabo. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead, get cleaning, packing, and I'll check with you guys later. I've never seen you clearer than now. We're flying high. Floating somewhere up in the clouds. We're going out of ourselves. Can you feel it? Almost like I don't know if it's real. Cause when we're doing our thing, we're the wheels that won't stop turning. So take me on a trip, 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 nah, trip, trip, trip. Oh, I flick the switch, kill the lights. Oh, I wasted. City lights are shining so bright. All these empty faces. We don't care about them tonight. We're going out of ourselves. Can you feel it? Almost like I don't know if it's real. Cause when we're doing our thing, where the wheels don't stop turning. Hi, guys. So it's actually the next day. Today is Thursday, and today is the day we leave for Florida. And guess what I'm doing? I am still packing because I didn't do it last night because I was too lazy. So now we're saving it for today, but it's all good because we still have two hours before we leave for the airport. So I'm gonna get this done quick and I'm planning out my outfits right now. Again, trying not to overpack so we don't have the same problem we did last trip. But yeah, I'm planning out my outfits. I got a night outfit there, another night outfit. I'm bringing three night outfits because we're gonna be there for three nights. And then in here we got some bathing suits, cover-ups, and then my pajamas, and then I also have my Disney World outfit over there. So yeah, I was just trying to plan out the outfits, and I think I'm fine now, so this is all I'm gonna bring. I'm gonna put it all in my suitcase, and then get ready to go.
Okay guys, I'm all packed. It's not as organized as I usually do and I didn't use any packing cubes except for one, but I'm in a rush. So I packed it by outfit. So I did like two night outfits or no, three night outfits. And then my Disney outfit, one daytime outfit. And then that's just like extra shirt, extra shorts. And then I have all my loungewear slash pajamas here. All my bathing suits are in this one packing cube and that's my undergarments. And then on this side, we got my toiletries, my hair stuff, my hair stuff I'm taking this backpack when I go to Disney and then I have one little person there and then I'm only bringing three shoes because that was what was making my suitcase so heavy last time so I only have two like nice shoes and then I have my sneakers and I'm gonna wear my flip-flops to the airport so that's it all done all right guys so I'm ending this vlog here I hope you enjoyed this one I will be vlogging my weekend in Orlando the whole trip and travel experience there and of course I'm gonna vlog Disney I'm so excited to go to Disney World so I hope you guys are excited to watch that vlog as well thank you so much for watching I'll see you all in my next one Bye.